Hi to Sridigoyas.com. This is Ravi Adav, Cinematographer and Director. I'm basically, I born in Chennai. And I did all my schooling and film school in Chennai. And I was doing some uh, Tamil films for some time. I did cinematography for Tamil films and I also produced films in Tamil. And then I moved to Bombay in 99. From 99, I'm, I, now I live in Bombay and you know, working as uh, films. And it's actually, uh, I would say it's kind of accidental because I'm the only person from my family who's been in the industry. When I was doing my uh, uh, degree, I was studying actually botany as a science student. And when I was doing my second year uh, graduation, I felt that I should move into some practical course. So that's when I chose uh, to be uh, in uh, Film Institute. No, they were very kind enough to go with me. So second year I discontinued and joined film school again, restarted my <laughs> degree. Then I did uh, three years in uh, film school in Chennai, specializing in cinematography. So from my childhood, my mother used to take me to always for movies. So maybe the inside I had the passion towards the filmmaking. So later on I discovered when I joined the film school, like, you know, that I'm more interested in filmmaking than uh, any other thing. So I started concentrating more on that. In fact, uh, it was shocking when I joined film school, Raju Menon was my classmate. So when we were together, only me and he was not connected to the film families. Rest every other classmate were connected to the film families. We thought uh, how we were going to make it, but uh, he said, you know, anybody who comes from the film industry doesn't mean that they should have the background, so we can make it out. So that confidence made us to enter into the films, you know, to do some good work. And uh, always I had in my mind that when you have a quality work, you know, you can get recognized yourself. It's the Tamil Nadu Film and Television Institute, three years diploma course. Yeah, we did a lot of, uh, uh, you know, discussion about the history of cinema. We studied world cinema and, you know, Indian cinema. So all this developed a lot of passion for us to, towards filmmaking. And this is our the only batch, you know, we never worked with anybody as an assistant or something like that. We just moved into the industry. We developed ourselves in advertising and doc documentaries, corporate films. And slowly we moved, moved into feature films and uh, started working. Later on I realized that I wanted to produce films also. I did produce two Tamil films. Then some of the uh, film, one film didn't do well much and one other film went into a lot of trouble in uh, sensor and shoes and all. So I just said, closed the company and moved into more into cinematography. No, it's always I, I love anything in filmmaking. So, I mean, I really enjoyed it. Basically, the uh, the attraction towards the lights and uh, interesting in colors. You know, slowly one one can realize once you get the camera in your hand, start playing with that, then you slowly start liking certain elements, like I like composition, I like interesting lighting. So that makes you more involved, involved, and slowly you develop it. So one has to discover. It's not necessary that you should, should think about only filmmaking or anything in particular. Once you have involvement and you start moving around in filmmaking, then you realize, you get into specialized one thing, and you start develop it more. So I think it's, uh, I mean, People will always say that, you know, you should know to do things. But I'm always from the child, I'm always experimenting things. I just get into things, start learning. That made me to more adventurous. Like I, I blindly go places also. I don't plan anything. I just go into a place and start looking for a room or going to travel, everything. Like So that kind of adventurous things help me to do something. Every cinematographer has one style in the sense that basically the approach to the visual quality. Some cinematographers will like very high contrast and dark, grimy pictures. Some pictures people will like glamorous things, looking at things, beautiful things. So I'm in part of glamorous side. I like to shoot everything beautiful. What I shoot is, is not important for me. I want things to make look beautiful. So, and some cinematographers will go in for realistic approach. So, so I think I'm more interested in glamorous and making things beautiful. No, I'm not done. I'm not done it. I mean, I'm always glamorous. I like things beautiful. That's it. I never thought anything uh, 
economic side. I always fascinated. I thought, uh, you just go get into start doing it. And then slowly, later on I realized it might give you good money, I think. Money never attracted me. It's more my interest. And when you start doing good quality work, naturally you get that. When you want to be a doctor, you will not be a good doctor and you will get good work, then you will get good money. I believe in that. So that my belief is quality. So one of my classmates directed a film for a big banner and called Satya Movies, MGR's banner. Like. So, it's, it's his second film as a director, so he has put me into that project and they liked my, they interviewed me, they liked it and we started doing it. You know, Telugu, I mean, it was happened in uh, Tamil and later on, uh, when I wanted to do, uh, move out from Ch Chennai, so I wanted to move out for Bombay for an ad films. So, I moved actually for an uh, ad film to work on it. Then I was doing a couple of ad films, then uh, uh, I got a break from a director. South director was doing a Hindi film called Amo Gyaapke for Venus. So I did that film. Then later on, Abar Muhtan director saw that film. So they called me, then we did Amaras. So we had a good association, they liked my work, I liked them also very much. So we started doing continuously together for six, seven films. I always, uh, when I meet a director, I look into their eyes and the feelings, what they expect for a movie to look. From that I read and take the points and start creating the visuals and which makes them to feel happy and also they get connected to the story more. So I travel with the director's mind. So that way always the director whoever I work with, they are happy to work with me again because I always want to travel with the director. So when I directed a movie also, I just wanted to follow myself and you know just uh, create some charts and interesting the story rather than dominating the cinematography and the film.